this demo here we have is the Denton E306A. The main thing about the system is, is you have your bell jar here. On top of it is an implosion guard. You have your roto tilt. And below that where the copper stuff is down here is your uh, thermal source. On the front here, you have as your gas to introduce into the chamber. Over here, you have is your power to your rotary pump, your diffusion pump, and to vent the system. And you have your Pirani gauge, which reads your four line. Here is your your roto tilt. If I want, I can speed. The roto tilt up, or I can slow it down. Next is you have your selector switch for your different things, but uh, different thermal sources, but you only have one, so basically keep this on the two and you'll be fine. And then I put 10 volts. Over here is you have your penning gauge, now I'm on the second range, which is reading basically five and a six. You have your on off and then you have your ranges. You have three ranges, but I am not into the third range. As you can see, it pegs itself all the way over that way. Reads here on the second range and the first range is pretty much buried. So there's a six right here and then a five. So you're midway through right above the four. So it puts a five and a six. Down here is your low voltage transformer uh, filament source right here. What you would do is turn this on low transformer and you could turn this up. As you can see, your gauge up here will come on. I'm gonna raise it a little higher and you're gonna see that little filament Right there, start blowing. And we're going to glow. There's aluminum pellets in there. I'm going to glow until those pellets start melting. I'm right now about 60 amps it looks like the whole thing as a whole kind of like dimmed on this but what happens is if you go further up you're gonna see it almost the whole jar is getting coated so I'm gonna shut the low tran the transformer off and you can see the jar as a whole you can barely see everything in it. Let's see. So as you can see, it deposited all over it. Now, over here is how you work the valves. You're going to have a manual on here so it will tell you what to do. So if you look right underneath here, you're going to see the poppet valve for the high back. I'm going to close that and you can see it just lowered itself down. And then what I can do is I can I'm going to turn off my penning gauge and then I can hit the air admit in. And now what that's going to do is going to allow the air, it's going to allow you to air the uh, bell jar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bell jar off. And there's your hole. 
inside again. If you want to bump down on the system, I'm going to put the bell jar back on. I'm not going to put the implosion guard on. What I'm going to do is then I would turn off your vent valve and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn this to where it's going to close both valves but now I'm going to push it over here and that's going to rough the chamber. When you rough the chamber then you're going to look at this valve right or this piranha gauge right here I'm going to watch this drop all the way down and when we do that, then what happens is we're going to be able to open the pop-it valve for the high vac. The system does run off of 208 single phase and uh, at 20 amps which gives it around 3 kVA which is the system what it says in the manual and you can see my gauge is starting to drop down now it does require water to run to help cool the diffusion pump We're gonna wait for this to basically drop around 100 uh, millibars. Now your your hookups are on the side here, which is your power your power cord which will have a plug on it. And then you have, this is your vent, and then you have your in and out with your water. So we're pretty close, so all we gotta do now is just, now what we're gonna do is uh, turn this knob to closing, go to the backing again and then this is going to pop out and then you can see we slowly open it and as we slowly open it you can see the pop-it valve comes out if the pop-it valve doesn't come up that means you didn't pump it down enough so now it's under high back again okay if you look at your gauge here even though it's up there it's going to start pumping down I'll turn this on put this on range one you can see right there, this is starting to pump down. It's about one tour right now. And you got to give it a probably about an hour for it to pump all the way down. It all depends on how much, what type of material, and how much you deposit on the inside of the bell jar. But as you can see, it's the, it's even got the spot of where it hit the uh, roto tilt. And that right there is the end of the demo.